How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be showing you two different methods of factor resetting your device. This is the Samsung Galaxy S20 and we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So the first method is going to be the proper and correct way of doing it which you go into settings and if you go up here to search you can search for right here factory data reset and then click that option and right here it says factory data reset you click that guy and then you click reset the device okay um, generally if you have a Google account signed in or you have a password it'll ask you for those things to verify that you're able to factory reset the device but you just hit that button device factory resets and you're back to like you got it out of the box okay um, it doesn't change your Android version, but it just wipes all the data and brings it back to the setup screen for you to go through initial setup on the device. Okay, so that's method one. Okay, method two is more of the emergency method in case there's an issue on the device that you just can't get fixed or the device doesn't boot up. You can use this method. Okay, so to use this method, we're going to power off the device. Uh, so on the S20, your power button's up here, which is a little weird. So we're going to come right here hit power power off okay and the device is fully powered off from here it's very very simple to do right here you have your Bigsby button I guess or power sleep wake rocker button right there and then you have your volume on up and down okay on the side here that's the only buttons on this device so on this device all you're going to do is you're going to hold the volume up and then you're going to hold the power button and you're just going to continue to hold these two buttons from the powered off state here until you see that and then you just let go all right so let's take a closer look here at the uh, settings here in Android recovery all right so here we go these are the settings so there's some good information here in Android stock Android recovery on the Galaxy S20 and what I want to point out is you can see some different information about the device, the model number, the build number, um, Android information all up here in yellow. That's really important to note just for your reference. Um, but then we're going to go through the menu. So we have reboot system now, reboot to bootloader, apply uh, update from ADB, apply update from SD card, and then we find this one, wipe data factor reset. That's the option we're going to use um, to do this uh, factor reset on the device. Now it does say this, and this is super important right here, this information. If your phone is reset, you may need to enter your Google account information or your previous PIN or password to unlock the device, okay? So that's why this is the emergency method. The other way, when you factory set from settings, you don't have to worry about that. When you do it from here, you may have to log back in with those credentials, okay? Just fair warning, that's called FRP lock, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit um, the uh, power button here to select. And then it says, yes, are you sure you really want to do this? Yes, wipe data factor reset. And you select it. Um, and then the bottom of the screen does a little wipe. And then, boom, it comes right back to this menu. So now we have wipe data factor reset this device in stock Android recovery. So then you're going to say reboot system now. Again, you just select it with the power button or the sleep-wake button. And the device is resetting. So let's let this thing go ahead and reset. One thing to note, after doing a factory reset like this, um, it is very important to note that this can take, yeah, maybe five minutes or so for the initial first boot up. That's normal because everything is being set back up in the system again. Um, all the apps are being optimized. All these things are taking place. So initial boot up after a factory reset can be up to five minutes. On older devices, I've told people as long as 10 minutes. Um, so don't worry, let the thing sit there and it will complete the process. It will finally eventually boot. Okay, so once again, just to repeat how this works and the right way to do this. First of all, number one method, reset from settings if at all ever possible. This is the safest and best and most effective way to factory reset your device. And it doesn't FRP lock when you do it from settings. Okay, the second method is obviously stock Android recovery. And this method is, you know, very simple and easy to do, um, but you do have the capability or the, the issue where you might actually go ahead and get stuck with um, FRP lock and have to sign into your previously synced Google account or put in your previous PIN or password to finally actually fully unlock the device after the factory reset. So 
just be aware those things are the good things to point out on it. I'm just going to show you that we are going to show up on the welcome screen here. So there it is. Android is starting and let's get started. There it is. Let me help you get set up more easily by guiding you through the steps. <laughs> Everything is ready to rock and roll. I don't want to hear this lady talking to me, but you are completely factor reset here on the Samsung Galaxy S20. That's the process. Hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned for more videos here at uh, Root Junkie, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Root Junkie out.